Hey foodies, I'm gonna show you how to make a traditional cannoli with a crema bianca, but the crema bianca is in another recipe that you can find in the description below. We're just gonna work on the shells. So before we get started, let's take a look at the recipe. So what we're using today is Frankie's all-purpose gluten-free flour, and we're gonna start with putting our softened butter right into our bowl. And then I'm gonna mix in the sugar and the egg. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna pour my cinnamon on top of my flour, and then I'm going to dump the whole thing right in. And I'm going to put about half of the red wine. I know, red wine, who'd have thunk in a dessert, but it's really good. And it's almost there. You can see just the texture. It's almost going to hold beautifully. I'm going to put about half of this again and probably save the last swig for myself. Okay, so the dough is all mixed and I'm just gonna set that aside and you can see like it, it looks a bit like a, a brownish reddish kind of pastry. Now if we were making traditional cannoli using a wheat based flour we would only be able to roll this out once because we'd be using semolina flour and it would make the dough really, really tough. But because we're using gluten-free flour, we can roll it out over and over and over and it's not gonna get tough. It's really nice. And look at this, like it's, it's a beautiful looking pastry. Okay, so I've got my flour, I'm gonna dust my surface. Oh. Look at that, that's, that's beautiful. Okay, and we're gonna roll it out. To thinner than a pie crust. I bet this would make a really nice pie crust actually. Okay, and then we take our cutter, I'm going to cut a few rounds, and I forgot my lifter. Okay, and you can see just nice and thin that you want. So we take our cannoli tube and our egg mixture, because I've beaten up a little bit of egg, and we're going to stretch it just a little bit more than it is, and I'm going to wet one side and really press it down, and then I'm going to drop this in the deep fryer. And while that one's cooking, I'm going to do another one. Oh, that one didn't hold, but that's okay. Some of them will and some of them won't. Just means we get the sample some more. Side. And do another one. Now, if you don't have cannoli tubes, you can always use um, dowel, or I've seen 
an Italian grandmother use bamboo, and it was really, really neat. So you can tell when they're done, when they're nice and golden, you can see the color difference, and that tells you that they're done. You don't want to overcook them because then they'll burn, and you don't want them to be undercooked because they'll get really chewy. So I just finished with the first rolling out of the cannoli. Now I'm going to do the second one. And you can see it's not getting tough. It's so nice. Look at these cannoli shells. They look amazing. And we're going to fill them up with some Paw Paw Crema Bianca. So when you're filling your cannoli, you want to make sure that you're, you, you're having them consumed before three hours is up. Otherwise, the, the shells themselves are going to go really soft. And you want that little bit of a crunch, the little cookie crunch. So I'm going to put a little bit in there and set that aside. Let's grab one. And we're going to fill it by starting there and just look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? I'm going to do a couple of them. I'll top up that side as well. Let's give this a try and see what this look is tastes like. Mmm. Mmm. The little cookie crunch is so wonderful. I think you're gonna love making these cannoli. I look forward to reading uh, all about what you use for a filling for your cannoli. Thanks for watching.